today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this a Valentine's Day look using some products that was sent to me by ShopHush.com. If you guys are interested in learning more about this website and seeing how I got this look, then definitely stay tuned. At the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give, give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you click that red subscribe button in order to receive more videos from me. And now without further ado, let's get in straight into this video. So if you have not heard of shophush.com, you are not alone. Prior to them contacting me, I didn't hear of, I hadn't heard of them either, but now that I have taking some time to get acquainted with their products and their website. I am here and knowledgeable and ready to share with you guys. So basically shophush.com is a website. You can access it via internet or via your phone or TV, whatever the case may be. As long as you have a browser, you're able to get on their site. They sell different beauty products. They sell skincare as well as makeup, as well as makeup tools. And when I say makeup tools, I mean sponges, brushes, eyelash curlers, things like that. And they also have Asian skincare. So if you're into that, they have that on the site. The great things about this website are you can find dupes to products that are super expensive. Um, so you can find different eyeshadow palettes that are that look a lot like some of the pricier um, eyeshadow palettes and get them for a really low price. I'm talking under $20. But aside from that, they also have companies that just tend to sell things at a cheaper price at a less expensive price so companies like la colors things like that you'll find that on the website as well and the best part is there is always free shipping on this site there is no minimum purchase required whatever you buy free shipping is always included so that's a big plus because sometimes you want some things but you're not close to a beauty supply store and it's like why should I have to suffer because there's no beauty supply store around me or because your company is solely online there's not an actual store so that's a really great thing so shop hush sent me a couple of different things we're gonna go through them really quickly so that this video is not and this is the eyeshadow palette. This is the, one of the eyeshadow palettes. It's called Aphrodite, and it has 18 color eyeshadow. It's an 18 color eyeshadow collection. It's actually my favorite product that was sent to me. The second eyeshadow is called Sugar, and it's another 18 color eyeshadow collection. Then we have a highlight um, collection palette, and it's by Rose. And this specific one is called Bad Habit. Apologies if the lighting keeps changing. I guess as I move different products, it's going to change because the focus is going to change. And then lastly, I got this lippy, which is which on my lips would be a nude. If you are lighter, if you're um, Caucasian or whatever the case may be, then it'll be like a mauve brownie color. But on my lips, it, it's like a nude. So what I will say about each of these palettes is that there is a lot of fallout so when i do my makeup usually i do my face first and then i do my eyeshadow but with these palettes i definitely have to do my eyeshadow first because it's so much fallout it's ridiculous it's it's ridiculous actually now that i'm thinking about it when you get the to get the product on the brush there's a lot of fallout but if you tap it, it's pretty much control. It's not going to be all over your face. I've had situations where I've used products that has a lot of fallout. And then when I put it on my face, it fall all over my face. But now that I'm thinking about it, and you'll see that on the um, in the tutorial later, that although it was a lot of fallout once I got the product on the brush, when it to actually get it on my eyes, it was no issue. So, yeah, I've had this palette for maybe two two to three weeks something like that and I already have some missing actually no it's not missing it's right here but I had uh two of the pants fall out guys I was not kidding it's it's like a mess okay you see so I had two of the um the pants that fell out and that was because yesterday as I was getting ready to go out I dropped the palette on the floor so yeah so some of the pants they cracked or whatever the case may be but this is what we have going on and it fell uh, another one fell so i don't know if it's because i'm pretty sure it's because i dropped it but this is what aphrodite is looking like this is my favorite palette you have so many options going on you so this is sugar face candy 
this one has fallout also but the thing is i didn't use it as much and it didn't drop so that's why it looks a lot more clean but this is what we have going on what i will say about these palettes is that like even this you see how the colors are light they're so pigmented and they actually show up on your skin like and then we have the highlight palettes um i've used this so you can see that there's a little bit of things going on here i think it's absolutely beautiful you have so many different options you have a gold you have a like a champagne gold a yellow gold you have a pink um a pink satiny highlight color you have the white highlight if you're uh, a little bit lighter you have the orange highlight and you have a rose highlight down here so you have so many different options and another thing about each of these palettes oh my gosh they each sorry you guys can see what's going on behind me but whatever they each have beautiful mirrors that come with them and i'm so grateful for that these palettes i'm gonna smell it because i don't know like people on youtube have a really weird obsession with smell so they don't have like crazy smells they honestly like it just smells like not to be rude it just smells like an expensive makeup smells like it doesn't smell anything crazy all right and last but not least i have this madly matte lip gloss that was sent to me um like i said on me it's like a nude but if you're lighter than me then it'll be like a brown color i'll swatch it for you guys this is my first time doing this so be patient people all right so this is what that looks like on my skin so yeah on my lips this would be like more of a nudie color but if you're lighter then it'll come out brown on you so yeah that's all that's um all the things that was sent to me my overall opinion of the site it's pretty easy to use i love the fact that it's free shipping i'm shocked at the fact that the palettes are inexpensive and they're actually pigmented like yeah, it has fallout, but like I said, if you, once you swipe it in the actual pan, it's a lot of fallout. Once you tap your brush, for you to actually put it on your eyes, it's not a whole bunch of fallout. It's not something that's all over your face. So you can even go with putting on your makeup, your foundation, everything first like normal, and then doing your eyeshadow. But for me, I made sure that I did my eyeshadow first, and then I put my foundation on. But it wasn't even something where I had to use like a whole bunch of makeup wipes to wipe away all the extra fallout. It was not that extra. But I will say, if you do buy it, expect that in the actual pen when you're wiping your brush to put it on your skin, that a lot of it is going to fall out. So I hope now you guys are a little bit more informed about shophush.com and now we're going to go straight into this tutorial. If you guys have any questions about the site, definitely comment it down below and I will do my best to answer it. I want you to breathe me. Let me be your air. Let me roam your body freely. Oh, in a vision, fear. How deep is your love?
TV, sunset shit done changed Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations